If I take the question from the blog, how many peers does it take to change a light bulb? I'd say an infinite number. Um, so I don't really have so much question about whether peer production is good, because I don't see it as something new. I kind of see it as something that's been around as long as human beings have been around. Uh, the, the very earliest forms of human society were peer production, uh, coming together to run the farms and take care of the children and take care of the livestock. Um, so I don't really think it's a radical innovation. I do think during the Industrial Revolution we kind of lost some of that. Uh, we kind of... Um, we, we started to think that the only way to make good things was to go work for a big company in a big factory and if you didn't have that kind of a job you couldn't make, you couldn't make valuable things. Um, and I think that's really unfortunate. It's, you know, the recent shift towards like small artisanal production so it's not just about software, it's even about, you know, like a small shop that, that does their own basket weaving or makes their own shoes from, from real leather or whatever. Um, I think in, in a lot of ways we're really just going back to like our roots as humans and sort of the fundamental nature of humans as a, as a collaborative species. There are some downsides to it. To it. Uh, one, of the, one of the touted advantages of the big corporate structure is it does tend to impose uh, a sort of order on on production um, so you get more regular production um, more guaranteed results you might say but on the other hand I think that when that's taken too far as it often has been um, what you end up with is is a lack of creativity in the production and, and I think that's why like artisanal production has become popular as a reaction because you do get those unique elements of beauty added by the individual flair into the production. Um, and I think the same is true about software. Uh, like, If you have a large company producing an operating system, it will be uniform, which is good, but it's often harder to bring innovation into that because it has been stamped as uniform and therefore you're not allowed to vary, you're not allowed to change. You know, like free software is chaotic. You, like people are like doing development all over the place. They're not like walking in lockstep. And so it's not as organized, it's not as coherent all the time. But um, that means it's very easy for innovation to slip in because some random person off on the side could just be working on their own little project and all of a sudden, you know, it grows and grows and grows. You realize, aha, we've changed the world. We didn't realize it, but we have. Um, and it's easier for that to happen in a pure production style of, of creation.